All right, guys, Jeff here again. Uh, I want to talk to you real quick about the mill relation formula. This is kind of our foundation for all the calculations we'd perform to achieve an accurate firing solution. The more precise you can be with this, uh, the more accurate your answer is going to be because every other formula or calculation you're going to use is going to be based on the range that you estimate or determine to the target. Um, just like computers, garbage in, garbage out. So you want to try and refine this as much as you can. I know this isn't the current formula that a lot of places are teaching. Um, it's not what's in vogue. Uh, for me, this is the one I stick with. This is the old school formula. I like it because it's easier for me to run a rough number in my head if I need to, and it works with yards or meters. Uh, the way it breaks down is this. You're going to take the size of your, your target, if you know it or estimate it, in either yards or meters, multiply that by a thousand, and then divide it by the size of the target in mils as you see it in your reticle. That's going to equal your range to the target. If you now, obviously, nobody walks around judging things in terms of yards. Nobody says, you know, oh, that spray paint can is 0.167 yards tall. Um, what the easy way to figure it out is to take the size in inches, and again, known or estimated, and divide it by 36. Um, so let's say we have some random object that's four feet tall. Okay, that's 48 inches and we divide that by 36, that's going to give us, and I am going to use a calculator here because I don't want this video to be six hours long, 1.333, okay? When we multiply that by a thousand, we can either do it on our calculator or we can just move our decimal point over uh, three spots. Gives us 13.33, okay? We decide that, or we look at this four foot target in our reticle and we say, oh, it's two and a half mils tall. Okay, 2.5, 13.33 divided by 2.5 equals 533 yards. It's as simple as that. Uh, burn through another one real quick here. I probably only got about two minutes worth of video left on my uh, memory card, so I'm going to try and wrap this up. I'll give you an example how this is pretty easy to break down in your head, though. Um, you know a yard is 36 inches, half of that is 18 inches, half of that is 9 inches, so on and so forth. Uh, so you can kind of break it down roughly however you want. So we'll draw our, I don't know, here's a big jelly bean. We'll say we know that huge jelly bean's 27 inches wide. 27 inches is 3 quarters of a yard, so that's 0.75. When we multiply that by a thousand, or we move our decimal spot three spots to the right, we get 750. In this case, I drew it out exactly one mil, so our jelly bean's 750 yards away. It's really pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll do another one. We'll say, whatever, this is our target here. And we'll say that that's five feet. Yeah, it's a five foot circle. I don't know what it is, but it's a five foot circle. So we say 60. Divided by 36, this is going to give us our um, size in yards, and that's 1.66666, so we'll say 1.67. Multiply that by 1,000, we get 1, 1667. Now, here's one mil, here's one and a half, here's two. We're going to have to interpolate a little bit. We'll say this is about you know, 1.7 mils. Uh, so we say 1667 divided by 1.7 equals 980.5 yards to our target. That's all there is to it. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks for watching.